Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called Lady Macbeth. No, this is not the Lady Macbeth from the Shakespearean character or, you know, the play. This is based on a Russian novella called Lady Macbeth of Maxinx. And this talks about a woman in the 19th century and talks about her female, let's say spirit or what's going on with the female in the 19th century. And this is in a rural community. And I'm assuming this is in England somewhere. Now, people got to realize in the 19th century, women can be bought and sold. Women are man's property. In fact, here, the main character, she was bought by her father-in-law, Boris, which is played by Christopher Fairbank. And he purchased Catherine, and Catherine is played by F Florence Pugh. So he bought her for some money and some land. He gave that away because he wanted an heir to his family. But he bought her for his son, and his son is twice as old as she is, all right? But the son. Her husband didn't get into her, didn't like her sexually. He really didn't like her at all. He was a very cold type of guy. So, you know, he travels back and forth. And back in those days, when you travel, you stay away for a while. But anyway, uh, now, Catherine has a maid called Anna. She's a black maid, played by Naomi Aki. And unfortunately, Anna witnesses her boredom and her, all of her frustration. But what does Catherine do? Well, remember, this is 19th century. There's really no neighbors, no cell phones, no telephone lines, nothing like that. She chose a farmhand to start having sex and for someone to touch her, make her feel like a woman. That's what she wanted. So she chose a man. One of the field hands. Oh, it was very good. She enjoyed the hell out of it. It was wonderful for her. It was so wonderful for her. She killed her husband and her father-in-law to continue that relationship. So as things goes on, of course, you know, it uh, doesn't work out very well for everyone. Now, the director, William Orod, he chose this because he wanted to show what it's like to be a woman in the 19th century and the feelings and, and things that they go through. But not only that, this is about class and race. This is a story about the rich and the working class. So in the end, who you think wins? Thank you very much. Class, you are very good. Give all yourself an A for guessing that. Now, I will admit, Lady Macbeth is not boring at all. It really isn't. I mean, with the actors they have in it, like I said, Florence Pugh, Christopher Fairbank, uh, Cosmo Jarvis, Naomi Eki, Paul Hilton. It's not boring at all. But I wanted to see much more. But they won't let you see much more. What I mean by that is a cinematographer, uh, Ari Wagner, his photography shows the bleakness of living on a rural farm in England. It was very bleak. You hardly see any animals. And, you know, they grow all. Remember, back then, they grew all their food and ate all their animals that they bought or raised. And it did show that, but it was so bleak. And, and it's not very colorful, the film. It's a little grayish to also add to that bleakness. This is not a boring film. In fact, you will continue watching it. 
And I did enjoy the main character, but I really couldn't root for her. But I understood her. So that's why I'm only giving this, um, you know, an above average rating. Two and a half palm trees out of four, two and a half stars out of four stars. It is an above average film. So I would say go see this film, and but you judge it for yourself, Lady Macbeth. Hey, I'm Al McGee, but your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. This is your entertainment ticket, latest and greatest.